So coming from the Northeast and Massachusetts and coming to North Carolina and looking at what I was seeing, uh, maybe right at the beginning, I was focusing on more on everything that was wonderful uh, about agriculture in North Carolina. Uh, the diversity, the, the size of it all, uh, the so many different geographic areas of the state that allowed so many different types of agriculture to happen. You know, I had been here on the faculty in the 1980s, so I knew a lot, but it was still very different then. It was dominated by tobacco back then and a little bit by the poultry industry, but so many other industries have really gained a footing including uh, some of the larger animal industries that have come into the state. So there was a lot of wow factor, I guess, right at the beginning. So the strengths in North Carolina from an agricultural standpoint, certainly diversity. Diversity is key to risk mitigation always. So the more diverse your industry can be, the better it's able to weather a lot of things that might happen to it. So diversity is certainly a strength. The size of the industry was certainly a, a strength the impact it has on the, the entire economy of North Carolina uh, is incredibly important. Beyond that, just the overwhelming support that we would see from the legislature, as well as local government, the overwhelming support that we had from our university, which is not something that you take for granted in this country anymore, is the strength of the land grant and its commitment to its base, the commitment to why it's here, the commitment to wanting to have a public university that focuses on making the public stronger, making the economy stronger. From a standpoint of concerns, farmer concerns are amazingly similar around the country. And I don't care if we're talking about Massachusetts or Oregon or New York, or North Carolina, all places that I've lived, there's an incredible amount of similarity. If you're a farmer, what are you, what are you concerned about? What are you worried about? What keeps you up at night? Making a profit, staying in business, keeping, keeping a family farm in the family and, and not you being the generation that ends it. Things like labor, regulations, prices, the weather and everything that could affect your crop beyond that, including weeds, insects, and diseases. Too much water, too little water. There are a lot of things, and believe it or not, every farmer pretty much worries about the same, uh, the same things. We often talk a lot in agriculture that our farmers have all the same issues that any other business owner has. But on top of all of those things that you think you might be able to control as a business owner, there's a lot of things that you cannot control. You cannot control mother nature as a starter. And while a lot of other businesses can deal with labor and regulation and prices by picking up their businesses and moving them elsewhere, farmers do not have that luxury. I don't know that these things are weaknesses but they certainly are things that can impact the industry. And they're all very, very significant if you happen to be in the agricultural industry.